Hello there, sword friends. Today I want to do a brief video about big sword energy. While I had sword friend Ian's master here, I thought it would take the opportunity to bring out some of the big swords that I have, move them around, and then just babble a little bit about some of the differences that I felt between them. So I had sword friend Ian's messer. I had a uh, an Albion Tyrolean. It's a, a big sword. I didn't the max. It was closer and easier to get than the Maximilian, but I happen to like this one a little bit more. I'm a fan of the doorknob at the end of it. Uh, I had another big one from Ronin Katana that looks like a, a Danish longsword or a Danish greatsword. Uh, it's called the Krom Killer, but there's similar varieties to it on Cult of Athena now. And then I also had a Cold Steel uh, Nagamaki, I believe is what that's called. So big long handle piece, but basically some big swords uh, from a variety of, of different sword styles and moving them around and figuring out which one I happen to like. So. Some reflections, if you will, for, for what they're worth. Bear in mind, I, I do study Japanese-style swordsmanship, so the Nagamaki-looking thing is probably a little bit more familiar with to, to me, but I don't study it well enough to really... <laughs> I don't use that in any style that I study, so I don't really know how to move any of these weapons around effectively. Arguably, the Messer is probably the closest thing to something I'm familiar with, but, uh, but not quite, as I mentioned in the review that I did of it. Anyway, uh, big sword energy moving around the Messer with the shorter handle. It really feels... Uh, like I can control a center line and that it's very sharp, but at the same time, it's it's hard to, to to swing it and maintain control because of the size of the grip. If it were quite a bit longer, I think that I, it might change the dynamics if I held it on either end of the grip in terms of being able to recover it. But I found that uh, doing those strikes, keeping a center line, I really would need to develop the ability to move the sword around and 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 redirect the momentum to bring the sword back to between me and the opponent. Uh, and I would say that the, the Messer from Sword for Nian was probably, in some ways, very familiar and comfortable, but in other ways, uh, almost dangerous because I got that feeling. And in other ways, it was, it was very uncomfortable because I couldn't recover it in a way that I was familiar with. So maybe with more training, I'd feel more comfortable. But at the same time, I would say it was probably, probably my least favorite, well, second least favorite to move around. The next one that I'll, that I'll comment on is the Ronin Katana Krom Killer, and this is a, a Danish thing. I'll link something similar in Cult of Athena that at least looks similar. Uh, but anyway, moving this around, because of the long grip, I can, I can really basically move it effectively. I can recover and I can swing it the way that I'm used to, kind of. It's hard to get momentum going, but it's actually easier to recover, and I feel like I can preserve the center line pretty well. And with that large Rokasso section that's not sharp, I can grab up on it and extend my grip even further if I want a half sword and almost use it like a spear. So it offers a little bit more versatility than I thought, um, but at the same time, getting that momentum, getting the tip out there, I found to be the most cumbersome. So it's, it's my least favorite of these to move around. It's the biggest. Uh, I think it's the heaviest, <laughs> but depending on the way I moved it, it almost felt more comfortable as a spear than as a sword. Again, I, I don't study with how to move these around, and as I try to move them with techniques that I'm familiar with, uh, well, it, it doesn't it doesn't go particularly well, and you can probably see the discomfort. The uh, kind of middle tier was the Albion Tiro Tirolina. I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's got a big doorknob for a uh, pommel. I happen to like that. The grip is chunky though it's got a big wide grip on it that said I, I still feel like I can move it around pretty effectively I can throw the tip out there with momentum I can keep it using the techniques I'm familiar with and it gives me the feeling that with practice similar to what I thought with Albion or the the monster messer from Sword Friend Ian that if I could if I could figure out how to do the redirecting momentum and swish them around and, and get the the sword to to land redirecting momentum wise that I would I would also bear rewards from doing that. Like it could be used effectively that way, but I could also kind of use it the way I was familiar with, which was which was nice. Now, I don't have the little leather strap that, or the little leather piece that goes around the Rikasso section, but theoretically, if you also had that, then similar effects would be felt to the way the Rikasso section I could use on the, the larger Krom Killer piece from Ronin Katana, and I could maybe use it like a spear or half sword it a little bit, and it might uh, aid me in, in using it. I just don't have that piece for it, so I don't, I didn't use that here but either way i would say my second my second favorite uh the first probably is no surprise a little bias here because they do study japanese swordsmanship as i noted but not with this variety the nagamaki was just very different it was one more rigid so it didn't feel like it flexed as much and if i threw it out there to do a cut that it would it would likely be more successful uh the wide long grip let me move down on it if i wanted to get more reach or move up and i could use it close quarters and get leverage and recovery it felt the most nimble and lively and easy to 
use as a battlefield two-handed great weapon. Uh, the handle texture is a little bit more familiar to me, but I really think it's the weight and dynamic properties of the Nagamaki that made it feel more comfortable to me than either of the, the other style swords. Anyway, those are just some of the examples that I had around. I was out there swinging them around on the one brief nice day I had in this Minnesota spring we've got going. <laughs> and so uh, I thought I'd share with you some nuances of big sword energy, if you will. Uh, so that's all I've got. I, I can't imagine it was particularly useful, but as I compare them, I would say that I enjoyed the Nagamaki from Cold Steel the most, uh, followed by the, the Albion greatsword, the Tyrolene. I, I can't remember exactly what the name is. Uh, the Messer from Swordfriend Ian, and then the, the Crom Killer beneath that. And I think the pattern that goes with, with that is also the skill required to redirect and, and use large sweeping flourishes to, uh, to use this sword effectively. The Nagamaki I could use, and it was a little bit easier to, to move around. The other ones had varying degrees of skill required that I don't have <laughs> to, to move, and thus my, my opinion kind of follows that one was easy. They, they all got progressively harder to use a little bit. So anyway, those, those are my thoughts. Actually, sword friends, I forgot that I grabbed the Naginata, moved that around, and it was way more comfortable. Now, this is a small Naginata, not really the right size, but I do study a little bit with Naginata, so I'm somewhat familiar with it. And in terms of reach or in terms of close quarters, I think I would rather have this thing than the swords. If, if it were me choosing which one I would actually move around, it'd be between the Nagimaki, but I, I think I'm more comfortable with the Naginata. Let me know uh, if you have any tips for moving them around better or things that you would like to, to see in the future. I still have a couple of them. I have the Nagamaki, I have the Albion Greatsword, and I have the Crom Killer piece from Ronin. Uh, but I did send sort of an Ian's Messer back, so I don't have that one to harp on anymore or compare. But if you have questions on the other three, let me know and I will endeavor to answer. That's all I've got for this one. Cheers and thanks for watching.